What Kong was actually doing during Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Godzilla, King of the Monsters saw the debut of a whole array of different titans, including the introduction of multiple new titans as well. The movie basically sets up the table for the final showdown between the two colossal beings. Although Kong does not really appear in the movie, there were several references to his presence. Considering just how massive and world-changing the Battle of Godzilla, King of the Monsters is, you might have expected Kong to stand up and take notice. With the appearance of so many different titans in the movie, most fans were left to think why Kong never actually showed up. Hence, when one of the fans questioned director Michael Doherty about Kong's relationship with the other kaijus, he cleared up what Kong was really doing by sharing an extract from the film's novelization written by Greg Keyes on Twitter. He heard the call. He heard the calls before. Not the enemies who killed his parents, the deep dwellers. Others somehow more like him. When he was young, he did not hear them often, but in the recent seasons, the calls were more frequent. Once, he had heard one of the others near, very near the island, but it wanted nothing of him, so he did not care. But this other wanted something, or wanted him to come, to hunt together, and he heard responses, many of them. For a long time, each season was much like the next. The rains came and went, the animals of the island were born and died, and he went on as always. But something had changed now. It made him restless. It made him a little angry. Change was not good. Let them stay away from him, these others. He did not care about their places, their islands. Best, they did not come for his. He felt movement in the stone beneath him, and his anger grew brighter. The deep dwellers heard the call too. The crawlers with faces like bone that haunted his sleep. They were walking. The quiet was over. He scratched the itch on his ribs and began to hunt. According to the extract, which seems to capture the moment when King Ghidorah's roar suddenly awakened the rest of the sleeping kaiju on Earth, Kong had heard the call. But he didn't care much about it. Kong had heard these kinds of calls from other kaiju from the Hollow Earth before, but they began increasing in number in recent seasons. But since they didn't bother him on Skull Island, he didn't care. His home was safe, and he didn't seem to care much about the rest of the world, minding his own business. Unlike some of the nosy neighbours who always try to get involved in other people's affairs. Well, we all must have come across such neighbours at some point in our lives. If so, feel free to share all your stories in the comments section below. Let's get back to the calls heard by Kong now. As these calls continued to grow stronger, he started to get annoyed. There was one call that stood out. This was the call of an alpha that turned out to be King Ghidorah, and it wanted the other titans to come to hunt together with it. Many of the titans responded as well, and even Kong could clearly hear it, and their restlessness slowly started to have an effect on the very nature of Kong himself. This is especially true because Ghidorah's roars seemed to have awakened those skull-faced monsters from Kong, Skull Island, the Skull Crawlers. So it seems like Kong was doing just fine, just like Godzilla, until everything was disturbed by an outer entity's interference. We also know from the post credit scene from Godzilla King of the Monsters that Kong is going to be confronted with the other Titans as well. So sitting this battle out is no longer an option. Now, you all must have got some idea about what Kong was actually doing during Godzilla King of the Monsters. To put it in simple terms, Kong was simply at his island, going about his routine lifestyle as the alpha of the island. And even though he heard the calls, he chose not to respond. Although this is going to change soon, and we will find out more about it by May next year. That was all for this video. Subscribe to Factolic for more Monsterverse-related content, and hit that like button. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon and become a part of our notification squad.